Hi guys, uh, welcome back to a new tutorial of uh, 3D mapping approaches in your tab package. So, in previous video, we seen how to make a 2D map from a cartographer and a SRAM toolbox. So, well, in this video, we are going to see how to use our tab mapping approach for doing a 3D mapping. So, we will get an idea how to make a 3D map from the scratch or uh, in this video, we will uh, understand how to get a 3D perception from the 2D radar of uh, Turtle Board 3. So, well, in this video, you will get a launch file approaches and the packages which we need to install on our system. So, this is a package uh, we need to install first. So, today we install uh, ROS Humble. So, the Humble package is Humble. So, RTAP ROS. So this will install the uh, RTAP uh, mapping package in the workspace. So then we need to launch the TurtleBot 3. So before that, uh, we'll go to the launch file and see how it's work. So we'll import the necessary libraries to do the launch file applications for declaring the argument. So then in the parameters, before that, the user sim. So it should be true while using a simulation and while using hardware it should be a false so then then uh, we using a base foot frame so a frame id then the use sim time so then the subscription depth so depth cam is a false we are not using any camera thing so rgp cam so that's also false so subscription underscore scan so true we are using a lidar information to create a 3d perception using a point load thing so then, so these are the things uh, we are using. So then, uh, remapping we using a scan topic, and I already mentioned that declaring argument. So the user use under sim under time. So it is a declare the value as a true. So localization default values of all. So we are not doing any localization part in this auto mapping before uh, doing the 2d map or 3d map so well in this video we'll get uh, only the point load of information in our tab so next the node uh, we need to get a screen thing outside of outside the output so the r tab map underscore wish the executable r tab underscore wish the output is a screen okay the parameters we already import the scan information so then uh, launch now so for launch or uh, to launch our tab underscore demo turtle bot underscore scan dot launch so this will launch the our tab scan information okay you can see in the screen that the 2d Point load information is available, right? So this is a turtle bot world, and this is a turtle bot. So here, now you take the example. Uh, we are going to the we are going to use uh, depth information, the depth cam information. For that, uh, we need a uh, some topics, right? So here we use a lidar. So the lidar topics is scan. So while well, using a depth camera or RGB camera, the image underscore raw is an RGB topic like the example you take. So depth underscore image is a depth camera topic. So this information is going to pass the data from the depth perception to the R tab. So the R tab will be receive the map, the uh, data and it's going to process and it's going to make a 3D perception of the environment to the robot to understand its entire environment design. Thing. So like here the lidar is going to publish so it's a publisher and our r tab is going to receive the information from the lidar so the lidar is publisher and the r tab algorithm is a subscriber so, am i right so uh, for uh, understandable thing so type ros2 topic Many topics launch in a single thing. So, for more 
understandable to launch RQT and we'll get an idea from that. to RAM till you operate to sticky board. So uh, now we launch the RQD. So here the turtle board 3 laser scan, the scan topic, so the uh, turtle board 3 LEDAR. So the scan topic is sending the information to the RTA package. So the RTA package is sharing those information using these, these many topics. So the goal underscore research, the map data, the information, the global underscore path. So these information share the RTAP underscore wish. So the wish, uh, it's going, it, it is a visualization thing. So information will be shared between the wish, so the, like always. So the information will be visualized by the, this toolkit. So it will be republished the node data to the RTAP. So in, information is uh, publishing one another between. So the IMU also, we getting the IMU information for getting the localization part. So the VADAM information to get the A to B location to track the robot or to track the turtle board, right? So these three information are necessarily needed to create a, a 3D perception part. So for example, you are going to use uh, any in-depth camera. So in-depth cam, we already fuse with an IME sensor. So the IME part and the in information of the perception part, while well, uh, launching the camera driver, it's going to publish the data. So the VADAM and the IMU and the scan information will be shared from the camera data of the depth of perception to the RTA. So after this video, we'll see how to integrate a depth cam with a, a RTA mapping to create a, a 3D shine of the environment. So I will explain the same concept in Isaac Sim how to create a 3D perception using a Validium LiDAR using Carton robot. So I already created the a navigation for ROS2 using a cat and robot Isaac Sim. So I already posted these things in my uh, blog, uh, medium blog, and I need to share in LinkedIn social media. I will share soon. So you, um, you may understand from this that the turtle part is on publisher, the scan information to the R tab. The R tab is sharing those information with the uh, R tab wish, the visualization thing, the visualization toolkit for the mapping or tab mapping information to, to see. see. Right, so the IMU and the ODAM share between things. So, driver underscore is the ODAM tree information from the wheel encoders. Right, so this is architecture, uh, the RTAP is working, the package is working. The three information scan, IMU, the ODAM. So, the ODAM is uh, the three information share between the RTAP map. So, the RTAP map package is sharing the processed information to the uh, wish, RTAP wish to visualize the information. So. Now we can type ROS to run till you twist keyboard. Right. So now we can move uh, the robot and we can see the output in uh, our tab wish. Okay, you can see. We can track the location of our, uh, our tap mapping, right? The VADAM information also sharing, the TF, and the, you can see the other information like the 3D, uh, the point load information, right? So next video, we'll see how to create a map, a grid map from the RTAP thing. Thank you, we'll, and also we'll see how to add our acceleration and Lima robot in Isaac scene, uh, how to uh, make the A acceleration like uh, DNA interference segmentation and your V8 part. So these things we'll see in upcoming video. Thank you. Subscribe to the channel.